Coming up on Alien Isolation. Hey. I have a gun. No! I don't think he's in the vent anymore. Oh, and I've come this way as well. Hello and welcome back to Alien Isolation part four, I think. Could be wrong, we'll see. Last time we we got into some trouble. We died a lot to people. We died a lot to the androids. We died at least once to the alien. But you know, no more. We are gonna find what are we gonna do? We are no longer gonna cower in fear. We aren't gonna hide. We're not gonna run and we're certainly not gonna die. We aren't gonna die to androids. We aren't going to die to people. They're the worst. And we certainly aren't gonna die to this alien. We are strong and independent. We came to find our mother and we will find her. We came to save, well, we didn't come to save our crew, but we're gonna save our crew and we are going to hand this alien the biggest beatdown it's ever had, and we are going to do all of those things. All of them. If this alien thinks that we're afraid, it's wrong. It's so wrong. From today, we are a new person, and we are going to do things differently. And if that doesn't work, well, I'm pretty sure that we could get a reasonably sized payout from... Wayland Yutani or Siegson or whoever it is that runs this place because I think we've had some quite serious injuries and we deserve some compensation. So stick around and let's go. Oh, Kali Dokali. Let's go. I have three bullets in my revolver. I don't need anything else because we are not afraid. Never afraid. Where? Who are you? Sir. I'm not afraid of you. Ripley, Taylor's over here. Okay. Oh, yes, she is. Ripley, is that Ripley? She's dying in a very sexy pose. Try and rest. Look at them boots. Those How boots weren't meant for space. She needs treatment. Medical is nearby, but I didn't want to leave her. I've got investigate. heels on See what I can find. You stay with her. I'll try to repair the radio booster. What if this creature shows then up? Then you're probably going to die, in all honesty. Hide. Unauthorized security breach detected. Oh, oh. Shut down my bad. By order of Apollo. Yeah, I feel like you guys should be a little bit more afraid. Okay. I am going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wing it. What is it? Time to waste, Ripley. I said wing it. Do I need to save it? I may as well, I guess. And then I don't have to go through his speech again. Stay with me, Taylor. Ripley's, Ripley's potentially finding an alien. So I have also been told, people keep telling me things in between episodes, which doesn't fill me with joy, you know? Like I keep getting told worse and worse things about what's gonna happen to me and I'm like, oh, okay. But apparently now I'm no longer safe anywhere ever again. But I just gave an inspirational speech. So screw that noise. We're gonna win in here. I can't even use my magical thing to get in there. Okay, well maybe this wasn't the right way. I've also been told if I see a leaky ceiling, I shouldn't go near that leaky ceiling. That the leaky, the leaky is bad. Cindy, the TV's leaking. Shut up. 
I'm not afraid. I would also like to know who had time. Like, if if the space station was in such a bad state, who had time to come around putting everybody into body bags? Sorry, if you see me stop and look suspicious, it's because it's vibrating. Locked. Hmm. I still don't know what scrap is for. I haven't found any use for it. Wait, 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 there's more than one, which means... Oh! Hey guys, there's an alien, did you know? Well, they'll find out in their own time. In their own way. Also, can you please tell me, I know we're like on episode four by now, but can you please tell me um, if you think the game volume needs to be turned up a bit because I can't decide. Like it's very loud in my ears. <gasps> the outside. Yeah, it's very loud for me, but I don't know how loud it is for you. Like when someone's talking to me and I walk away from them, I can still hear them perfectly clear. And then I watch the videos back and they get very quiet when I start to walk away. You, hey you, need some help? I need a doctor. Hello? I, I need a- I can't hear you, hang on. That was all pointless. Come up, I've opened the elevator for you. Okay, I'm coming. I hope this isn't a trap. Come on, come. Is that another British person? Is Alien just filled with Brits? I feel very at home in space. Get into the San Cristobal Medical Facility. Oh. Anyone? Anyone? What was it? That Wait, no, I can focus. Yeah, there we go. Pa. Pa. I feel like I'm an expert now. Forget the door. The marshals locked everything down. Oh. Use the vent. Hmm, that's fine. Do you know, in a previous episode, I might have said I don't feel good about the vent. But I'm not going to say that today. I feel great about the vent. Because we're winners. <laughs> At least he seems to know that there's things to be afraid of. This is just me making this noise. Pretty sure. Oh. Christ. And no more. You don't want to say anything to me, bud? Where are we? Do I need to get. I don't know. I just need to find goodies. The alien won't mind that, will it? It'll allow me to have goodies. I need a key card. What happened to my magical security access tuner thing? It could get me into anywhere. Oh my goodness, please stop watching me. It's very creepy. Okay. You're not catching us at our best. Right. I don't like that poster. Um can I get in there? No. Oh my goodness, please stop with your weird cameras. Let's go. Where are you? Hi. I'm Coleman. Ripley, I need to find a doctor. I'm a doctor. My friend <laughs> needs help. Medical supplies. Me too. There are no supplies on this level. But there are plenty downstairs in the hospital dispensary. How do we get there? We? Do I look like I'm in any fit state? I need your help and you need mine. You find the passcode for the service elevator and then I'll come down to the hospital with you, okay? Passcode? Yeah. I can direct you from here. Morley or Lingard would have had the new passcode. Morley's office is your best bet. What does he mean that he is not in any fit state? Like, he seems fine. He doesn't seem injured. Like, he's, he's a doctor, apparently. If I'd have said something else to him, if I'd have been like, hey, um... 
I need a chauffeur. He'd have been like, I'm a chauffeur. That That's how that seemed to me. Can I come into where you are? Because I want to play that thing. Hang on. Friend. He's not going to let me in, is he? No. Do I need to go in the vent? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It's weird because he looks exactly like the guy in the last episode that got his head smashed in by an android. This vent doesn't feel great. It's fine. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of anything. Do I need to... I'm unsure about which way to go. That way. He didn't tell me to go this way, so I'm just assuming that this was the way to go. It's my game. It's my story, and this is the right way. Oh, my map. I do like the motion tracky thing, though, even if just for finding people. Oh, that just, yeah, hold to hide. No, we don't need to hide. We're never hiding again. Wait, this is just... This is just where I was. Great. Well, at least I updated my map, I guess. Um... He knows how to get to the medical dispensary downstairs, but needs your help. Find Morley's office. Is he not going to tell me where his office is? He's like, ooh, find it. There's a creepy alien that's going to kill you. Find it. Okay. Um, okay, well, I'll find, I'll find out. I'll find out where we're going. Don't worry about it. Oh, there's a save point. Oh, my goodness. Did I see that before? Should I walk straight past it? Hey, hey friend. Right. I need your help now. Oh. Wait. Colin, is that a radio that Colin would like? No. Right, I know the door's locked, but I have a special security access to unit. Oh, this doesn't seem good, does it? No, it's fine. We're brave. Let's work together. We are working together, Mutual friend. Benefit. I mean, we're working together, but I don't think you're doing a whole lot. Keep moving. The area you're in was for our more unstable patients. Those who had trouble adapting to deep space. Please tell me where to go. I'm really uncomfortable. No, I'm not. I'm brave. I'm brave and fine. I'm brave and fine. I'm trying to get... That's right. Along that corridor. I'm trying to get to you, bud. Here? My device is invalid. Okay. Oh yes, how do I do this again? Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that, it is. Nope, it's not that one at all. God damn, panicked. No, I didn't panic, I never panic. I laugh in the face of panic. See how ready I was there. there. That's Morley's office. The passcode should be in there somewhere. Okay. I'll find it. Don't you worry. Real good at finding things. Low on meds. Dr. Lingard, we need more supplies of mood stimulants up here. We're getting really low and it doesn't help that Coolman seems to be handing them out like candy. That's the guy upstairs, right? He's just giving everyone stimulants. Logs show he's been to the dispensary 16 times this week. We need to start rationing medication. Vastapol's people are only going to need these more and more the closer we get to shutdown. Can you talk to Coolman or find out where the prescriptions are going? I'm going to say that Coolman's been sneaking the prescriptions for himself. Maybe. Hospital quarantine. Have you found the passcode? Look, we'll need the physical keycard too. Morley always kept it on him. Find him. 
Number one, sir, I'm reading. Don't interrupt me. Warning. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. Warning. Relax. Medical facility I'm just quarantine trying to find breach out what detected. That is. You focus on finding the key card. Shit. Shut up. Number one, sir, I was reading. You interrupted me. Number two, I'm pretty sure Dr. Morley's going to be dead and I'm going to take the key card off his prostrate body. So I wouldn't worry about it. Do I have my device? Oh yeah, that's fine. Um, do I not have time to keep reading? I'm going to keep reading. I think this is fine. By the way, that didn't count as me hiding. That didn't count because it it was part of the story. Um, San Cristobal, medical facility quarantine active. Entrance to primary care deck now limited to marshals and senior staff. Universal facility passcode 1702. Systems will scan. Okay, please remember that. Systems will scan for potential quarantine breaches every 15 minutes. Am I? Is it not me? Am I the breach? Sevastopol, an outpost of progress by Julia Jones. A troubled population. Better or worse, the right to bear arms followed us into colonial space. Alone, vulnerable, and light years from law enforcement, who could deny our voyagers a way to defend themselves, their ships, and their families? The flip side of this argument is Sevastopol, where gun crime is rampant. Endlessly turning circles in a neglected corner of space, its people are downbeat and disconsolate. Those who could afford to leave did so years ago, abandoning friends and neighbours among empty stores, creaking systems, and the forgotten dreams of the deep space economic boom. Sevastopol's people feel deceived, tempted here by corporations that refuse to recognise the deep space bubble was about to burst. They're angry, desperate, and increasingly divided. Recent colonial martial clampdowns on the black market have increased resentment. Every day, it feels as if the station has edged a little closer to free fall. And then someone brought an alien aboard. Wait, what was it? 1702? I told you. Remind me. 1702. Okay. Ah, well. There's no keycard in here. There's no keycard in here. Oh, no. No, this isn't right. This also doesn't count as hiding. I'm just searching. Um, is the keycard definitely in here? Oh, god damn. Oh, I hate everything. I have a gun. No! It can't see me, right? I'm so still. I'm so still. I'm so still. It can't see me when I'm still. It hunts the emotion. I genuinely don't know if it can see me or not. Look, I'm working off the assumption that it can't, but what if I'm really stupid and it can and I'm just stood here and it's going to be like, Hi, how are you doing? Like, if it walks directly into me, is that an issue? It can't see me. No fucking chance. Oh, I really don't want to save though because this is the worst. What if it can see me and I'm stupid and then I save it 
right in a position where it can see everything that I'm doing. Is it not going to leave at any point? Because... Damn it! It can see me! <sighs> I didn't save it. Should I have saved it? Shut up with your big hands. May have sensed you. So... Can it see me? Because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Area you're in was from more unstable patients. What if I find the, the key cast? Tell me where to go, Don't worry, they're all long gone. Actually, what if I find the key card first? What if I find Dr. Dickhead? I could actually save it, couldn't I? In fact, I'm gonna do that. Hang on. There's a dead person there. I'll come back for you. Okay, what I'm going to do is the opposite of everything that I just did. I'm going to save it. There isn't though, is there? But I need you, but there's always going to be hostiles nearby. Shut up. Um, I'm going to save it. I'm going to go around the other way. And then maybe by the time the alien gets here, all I'll have to do is leave. Why, why is there an emergency override there? Is that to shut this room? Yeah, I know. Been left out of the loop, Morley. You hear me? I tried to use the dispensary today and found I was locked out. I can't possibly no, no, expect right. to carry out my duties if you and Lingard cut my access privileges. I have patients who will relapse without that medication, particularly when things on the station are so precarious. This is him, right? I will not see patient care suffer. Consider this a formal warning. And tragic, tragic cases. I do not have a problem. Far from the rhythms of Earth, sunrise, sunset, the mind has a tendency to wander. Tragic cases. But Morley wasted far too much time on coddling them. They should never have come here. Oh my goodness, this is massive. Okay. Good. He's also very obsessed with telling me wrong way. I'm suspicious of this man. You are in bed. It is warm and comforting. Someone you love is cooking breakfast downstairs. You can smell it, and it smells delicious. So that's gonna be back to yeah. But you are not far away. You are safe. I would like to get as much done. I think that's 1702, right? Oh my goodness, what if I just put the passcode in, right? Right, hear me out. What if I just put the passcode in? Without ever going to that room and then maybe I can trick it. You are standing on a hill. Your home like he was very upset about me going the wrong way. Ooh. I really don't like... No, there's nothing. There's nothing that I don't like because I'm... This place had right. such promise when I first came here. Is he like one of those crazy doctors who, you know, like sews people together and does experiments and stuff? Because he's like, oh, my talents, my skills wasted on humankind. I'm just Frankenstein's people. So presumably then the, the thing is going to be to get that passcode and to go out that door needs the passcode. Right? Should I save it again? Now I've searched all of the people and the things. He's gonna be like, how did you know that was the passcode? And I'm gonna be like, magic, I'm psychic. Didn't you know? I'd love to know what that emergency override does. If I come in here, can I emergency override it and lock the alien out? We maybe should try that too. I mean, I know I was told that I'm, I'll never be safe again, but there is specific points where it turns up, right? It's not going to let me put the passcode in until I've actually got it 
It's not gonna let me guess. Okay. Can it hear my scanner? I'd love to know how this hunts. Can it see? Can it hear? Is it just a T-Rex movement? Well, what was different from this time to that time? Uh, oh, that. Has it seen me? Oh, fuck off. Ah, uh, no, you can't get me. You can't get me. <laughs> I don't like him. He's shit. And he's just really hysterically over the top. Where's the save point? Damn. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to... I mean, be louder doing that. I think he's an event. I'm gonna go in here. I'm still not hiding. This is just, I'm just resting. Also, it does sound like he's in the vents, so if he's in the vents... Maybe I can go back to... Like... M motion detecting, you know? Right, okay, so he's in the vents. She? He? Oh, I don't know which... down here I know that I'm meant to be going the other way but I I'm just not one for rules and instructions 
I much prefer it when he's in the vents and I just have to keep still. <laughs> I don't think he's in the vent anymore. Oh, and I've come this way as well. I was so safe. I'm so free. I thought that that alien, I thought she, he, they were in the vent. And they weren't. I was just being way too cavalier about all of this. Oh, for God's sake. Well, okay. You think about it. This all leads to the same bit. I should have just gone straight down there then, shouldn't I? Noise maker. You know, that would be great. A save point. Ooh. No save point? Of course not. Ooh. Can I get in these? Oh, no, but I can search them. Ah. Oh. <gasps> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to. Oh my god. But we know what I'm like, though. With the flares. Oh, shit. Oh my goodness, there was nowhere to can hide there's nowhere to hide there's nowhere to hide i'm hiding the best that one can hide right now i'm behind a table not my fault that she can't crouch down lower if it was me i would just be like this around the side of it i should have gone that way shouldn't i i should have gone that way Trust me to start accidentally throwing flares around. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know anything. That was just a magic flare. the worst thing you can do when the aliens are around be like hey look at look at this look at this look at me look at me fine mum get back in the vent no one likes you i need to put these goddamn flares away how do, how do i put the flares just away how do i put them away also i've come all the way round when I could have just gone straight to Dr. Morley's, like, because I needed to know what was in all of these rooms. Now I've got myself in a position where I've gone the long way and thrown a flare 
very close to myself after he'd left. Oh well. Trying to get back in the vents, pal? You back in the vents? You back in the vents? Oh, what is this? Morley. Morley. Investigate rooms on Doc. Oh, are you kidding me? Where am I? Also, really can't believe that there's been no save point through all of this. You look at all those delicious save points up there, and just down here, there's no. To back in the vent? No, he's no, he's not in the vent. Shush. I see you. Oh, he's making a mess of his tail. Maybe that's how the space station ended up in such disarray. So, hang on. Search. Investigate the rooms on Dr. Morley's round. Oh, my goodness. How do I even get over there? In the vent? Oh damn, hold oh, damn. Is that a save point? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That is the thing I've needed most. Thing I've needed most. Fine, I don't care anymore. Kill me, kill me now. Dare you. Um. Schematics? I'm sorry that there's not a lot of talking at the moment in this episode. It's just, it's very tense. I think he's come back out of the vent. I don't know what that meant. Wait. Wait. What's in there? This is definitely, I haven't been around here, have I? Thing is though, he's not in the vent. Oh, he's so stupid. He's so stupid. I was right there. Okay, great. Going. he need to be everywhere that I am? Get back in your vents. God damn. So, oh, what the... Okay. Well, that's a lot of rooms. This guy, could he not have just... Had the key card somewhere really simple.
Can this alien not go back to that main room? That would be great. A lot of dead people in here. A very loud beeping noise, which I don't love. Yeah, he might have got me. He might have got me hit. Jesus, dude. Just go away for a bit. Have a break. You must have killed and eaten a billion. You're not even eating people. You're just killing them. Do you not need to nap? Does it not nap, alien, at any point? A little napsy? Ugh. It's so annoying. Is that back in event? I don't know. Are you Dr. Molly? I've got a key card. Okay. So now I go return to Dr. Coleman. So I can either go back that way, which might, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to think that there's a save point down there, which would be great. Although now I know where this key card is. That shouldn't. Maybe, uh, maybe I should just go up that way. Although, actually, you know, that says that door's broken. I'm going to have to go back the way I came, right? Okay, I'm going. I'm with nowhere to hide. I'm going to get in this vent. Wait, no. He's in the vent. God, does she have to be so, like, loud about that? Well, at least we've answered the question of can the alien go in the vent? The answer is yes. It can. Why do you need to be where I am? It just makes you look stupid and possessive. Live your own life. You don't need to follow me around. He's definitely walking around. Definitely. Get back in the vent. Throw you in the vent. Also, what happens if I lock myself in that middle room with the overrides? Because then how will I get out? goodness why is he just waiting there what does this mean what does that mean what does that mean gone Gone. Coming back. It's gone. Bit of a mess. Didn't say hostiles nearby though, so that's good.
I'm back in the vents just as I need to go back out there. There must be other people for you to eat on this goddamn ship. It's gonna go this way. Goodbye. We don't, we don't, we're fine. We don't need to be friends. Oh, I missed that save point as well. I completely missed that save point. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. No, why we go this way? Because there's a save point. Oh my goodness. He's in the vents, right? He's in the vents. That's vent sounds. Can you just get <laughs> Dr. Coleman is up here somewhere. I could have sworn that he was in there. What's he doing? Being super annoying. Go away. Okay, so I've got my maps. I don't know how to find this man again. Oh, he's there. I walked straight past him. Damn you, Coleman. You knew that thing was here. Now, that's unfair. I thought it might be there. There's a difference. Now, the passcode. 1702, okay? Now, let's get down to the dispensary. Are we running? Of course, of course. A promise is a promise. I'm sorry for putting you through this. I'm going to step into the other room to punch the code in and prime the elevator. Then we can use the key card to take the elevator down. Where's the elevator, bro? Friend. Friend. Are you going to tell me where the elevator is? Or do I just have to wait here? Hi. I think there. I collect my things and we can. Is move. that the elevator? I don't know. You tell me. Oh my goodness. Mm. Okay, where's the elevator? No Brits in space. No Brits in space. Just me. Just me. Ah, oh, use key card. Let's go. Let's go. Access granted. Oh my goodness. That was tough and intense. But I was not afraid, not even once. I didn't hide at all. And I definitely didn't die. I died a lot less than what I did with the people and the androids, though. And that's where we're going to leave it for a day. I hope that you had a fun time. I hope it was super intense and spooky and full of anxiety, because it was for me. I'm just kidding, because I'm brave. I'm the bravest, and we all know this. As always, don't forget to drop a comment below. Let us know what you want to see on this channel next. And please leave us a like and a sub, because it massively, massively helps the channel. And I think until next time, that's it.